Hello friends, <coughs> how are you doing today? So, one of our subscribers and friend uh, Tushar Patekar wanted to know um, the examples of uh, business architecture, uh, data architecture, uh, application architecture and technology, technology architectures. Okay, so this video is for him. I'm going to give an example for um, all these four architectures. Okay. Uh, simply we call it as BIDAT to keep it in mind. So BIDAT means like uh, business architecture, data architecture, application architecture and technology architecture. Okay. All right. Let's start with the example of each architecture. And before going for that, I just wanted to uh, tell you like what exactly the business architecture is. Okay. So suppose if you are running an organization or if you are part of an enterprise, uh, you always have some business strategies and uh, you may have like uh, the governance of your business and you have the organization's business processes right so these are all required for any organization who is involving in any business okay so the business architecture is talking about business strategies organizations business process and business management etc okay so all right let's take an example of um, an organization or enterprise who is focusing on uh, customers day-to-day -day life needs like uh, food cloth and shelter details and they wanted to have an e-commerce application um, to uh, supply all these uh, uh, stuffs for the customers okay so uh, how they will start this e-commerce application they should have a business strategy right business strategy like um, where to uh, open up this uh, retail shop or how many online stores we need to open for each state or each city or um, uh, what is their uh, business process like you know when the customer places an order how uh, deliver the how we can deliver the order how we can uh, uh, deliver the goods in fast and uh, economic way right so these are all business process and business strategies okay so if a person defines all these um, uh, business strategy business processes for a, an organization for running a business that person is called business architect and he creates a, a structured way of uh, uh, doing the business okay so this is an example for um, business architecture and uh, let's move on to the second um, uh, architecture here in this uh, context is data architecture right so what exactly the data is okay data may be a uh, physical data or logical data suppose uh, if you take the same example of uh, e-commerce application uh, you your organization has the physical data of customers right they are physically available and um, the logical data is uh, how a customer can make a decision to purchase a product and what kind of uh, logical uh, decisions you implement uh, for the customer to purchase a product right you may go for uh, marketing techniques and you go you may go for uh, uh, offer techniques or campaigning so all these um, uh, uh, processes involving with the logical decisions and the data which are involving with logical decisions are called logical data okay so basically data architecture is um, uh, making sure that uh, your organization has uh, uh, the strategy to take care of our uh, physical data and logical data okay and one more thing is like when you define all these uh, physical and logical data for your organization and it has to align with your business architecture okay so in our example um, since our company is doing a uh, an e-commerce um, <coughs> for customers and e-commerce portal for customer the customer has a, a need to buy all their uh, basic needs and uh, your uh, data architecture should have a detailed information about uh, what are all the physical uh, assets and data you have and uh, how the physical data and assets are related to your logical decisions and logical data model okay so if you implement uh, the data architecture along with your business architecture the chances of winning the business is more and the person who is doing uh, 
this data architecture work of arranging the physical data and logical data um, also aligning with the business architecture is called the data architect and the process that he does is called data architecture okay uh, let's move on to the application architecture so uh, we can take the same example of e-commerce application um, for this application architecture as well okay so basically when you want to build an e-commerce application um, the person who builds or designs the e-commerce application should have a knowledge about uh, the layers of the application whether ui layer middle layer and data layer and other uh, batch process layers etc and uh, also the person who architects this uh, application should have uh, the knowledge about the interaction components of the application other networking features of the application right so the person who creates or designs or architects um, an application with all these considerations is called uh, application an application architect okay and uh, the process of uh, making this application architect um, architecture uh, also should um, relate with the business architecture and data architecture basically your application architecture should align with your uh, business architecture business strategy business processes and also the logical and physical data of your organization okay and the last one is the technology architecture so what exactly the technology architecture so uh, suppose uh, if you are building an e-commerce application in the same context uh, you need um, software and hardware components right and you need to know how the middle uh, middleware uh, architecture works and how the data layer works and what are all the um, softwares needed for um, your application to run fine and what are all the hardware components needed for your application to run fine and um, all these factors um, should also align with your uh, other three architectures like uh, business architecture um, data architecture application architecture okay and uh, the person who is uh, taking care of this uh, software hardware middleware and uh, additional components which are needed for your application to run fine to serve customers need uh, is called a technology architect hope you might have got an example of uh, all the four major architectures like business architecture data architecture application architecture and technology architecture and uh, if you would like to discuss more about uh, these examples and how the business data application and technology architectures are related and uh, how uh, the architects are related uh, with these uh, four major areas and uh, what are all the responsibilities of uh, business architect data architect um, application architect and technology architect we can discuss uh, further um, so please leave your comments in the comments box below and uh, we can uh, collaborate and talk more about uh, these architectures and if you like this video give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also share this video to your friends so that they'll also get benefit out of this take care bye